Hello dudes and babes, Dangerous Thing Hero. Welcome back to another episode of Clash Royale or welcome if you're here for the first time. Today was a shit Clash Royale day. I had a terrible morning with Clash Royale. Um, I got completely owned by people with miners and royal giants and sparkies and lava hounds. Um, so basically it was a total disaster. So I basically recorded like for 45 minutes in the morning and came back after that and recorded some more and you know Not much good happened. So right now I'm going to give you a quick look back at some of the highlights of today But please remember that they were very much diluted by some shitty shitty Clash Royale moments So just so you know if you're having a black Clash day, you're not the only one out there Let's take a look, however, at the best moments of today, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, so best moments of today consisted of just a handful of me winning by one, two, and one time three crowns. So basically, one crown today was a pretty average and A-OK -okay victory in my book. So here is me using my regular deck, and I just wanted to kind of throw something out so I can get to, uh, you know, the next rotation in the deck. And of course, the lovely hog rider who was going for the cannon. And I've actually had not seen somebody playing a hog rider and goblin barrel comp, or I should say goblin barrel period. I have not seen a goblin barrel um, in game in quite a few days. Um, so I was kind of... Um, uh, taken by surprise here by Goblin Barrels and as much as I hate to admit it, it's a really pesky pesky little card because while the goblins are placed on opposite sides of the uh, tower, they definitely cause quite a little bit of damage until they get taken out either by your tower or your defense cards. So let's wait out right here. Um, I actually, so I had recorded the voiceover for this live, but because as you heard, I had plenty of uh, mishaps earlier today, I decided to scrap the voiceover because I was getting really aggravated and a little bit unpleasant pleasant uh, and believe me if I understand that I'm unpleasant you would not want to hear that voiceover so this right here is a really really cool a uh, little match look at that the um, giant skeleton is actually going at my giant while the giant is annihilating the tower and the giant skeleton is being slowed down by my lovely mr. ice wizard and I took out the um, minions and look at that the skeleton actually is really really slow super slow due to the um ice wizard sort of freezing him up and slowing him down and look at that he explodes right in the middle um i don't quite know why my opponent chose to put the hog rider so far out because it definitely gives me plenty of time to actually prep for it but he did so anyway and this was a really tight game he throws another giant skeleton and I'm doing the same thing I did last time except for I'm gonna arrow the tower over here and uh, hoping to cause a little bit of damage to the wizard in just like that one crown in and for now on I am holding on to my knickers because I'm thinking in my head just don't lose please don't lose do whatever it takes but don't lose and luckily for me the time was on my side I decided to place a cannon over here so that giant skeleton goes for the cannon and I put archers uh, to counter the goblin barrel goblin barrel is incredibly unpleasant and look at that the giant skeleton actually did not go for my cannon because I placed it a little too out too far out but nonetheless I still was able to keep the advantage the giant skelly luckily exploded you know right out um, you know and, and wasn't able to cause much damage to my tower so this was the saving grace for me then I uh, actually then I went ahead and swapped my deck uh, and I decided to do something that I saw in the um, in, in the arena uh, when somebody was basically just spamming me with tons and tons and tons of goblins and the goblin hut and barbarian hut and I haven't seen that in a while and I thought well you know what if you want to be annoying and taunt me like that maybe I'll try that as well and here are uh, some uh, take backs and look backs at when I use my spawner ice wizard deck and it worked a-okay for me now I'm not going to lie and say well it worked so great because obviously I just told you in the beginning that well my day was a little rough but it certainly does do an okay job when you're going against somebody uh, you know and in, in um, 
somebody who is level 8 player and they got at least one or two legendary cards it certainly is more difficult to just use your spammer deck but you know people that use spammer decks and that are good at it are very very successful because they just overwhelm you with everything that's happening on both sides and they just you know pop and pop and pop the huts so another thing is I saw the um, you know what it felt like I actually have to look back and, and just double check uh, I think it was a goblin barrel mirror spell because he just kept popping goblin barrels one after another and the only down take or downside of this particular deck is that there was not much to counter the hog rider so I actually had to waste five elixirs and put down the goblin hut but I felt like it was an okay trade-off because uh, the hog rider did not end up causing much damage to my um, arena tower so the good way to counter Mr. Baby Dragon over here is Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard slows you down or slows him down big time and then uh, that definitely helps out to take out the Dragon Baby or Baby Dragon. Dragon Baby is what I am after I lose um, a few Clash Royale games. I turn into a Dragon Lady rather, not a Dragon Baby. But nonetheless, uh, let's just get into the juicy part over here. My spawner deck is working out pretty okay for me. The Giant is gonna cause some nice damage and and then my spawners are going to take down what is left of that arena tower. And I don't remember whether this was a one crown or a two crown. I think majority of my games today were one crown at best. So let's put another goblin hut right here to turn away the hog rider, slow him down with the ice wizard. And like I said, that's a downside of this deck. I did not have anything cheap to distract the uh, hog rider, but the goblin hut definitely did okay. And um, I didn't know why exactly my opponent chose to use the uh, rocket on my troops instead of actually rocketing my arena tower because if he would have done that uh, two times he definitely could have gotten into the place where we at least would have gone into uh, an overtime or sudden death so that was a little bit of a poor choice but uh, who am I to say because I've made some terrible choices myself today and also today I've seen plenty of comebacks of uh, skeleton armies I have myself used skeleton army a lot when the uh, prince combo was a dominating combo today however I've seen so many that I was just so so happy to see them back. Skeleton Army is a great card, however, of course, can be easily taken out with arrow spells or, of course, even um, uh, poison spells. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next victory. And let me know if you want to see the look backs on the losses because I have plenty of those today and some of them are pretty horrifying. Um, so let's, okay, let's, let's go in and uh, dive into the spawner deck strategy here. So I basically started with Goblin Hut right from the beginning and Ice Wizard right behind, uh, which also made a comeback today. I have not seen Witch used in quite some time. I feel like uh, people are using her again after the recent update. I believe the Witch was actually um, her damage per second or I should say damage per second because now I'm thinking Boom Beach. I think the Witch uh, was actually... Uh, it, her 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 powers were increased. I definitely cannot speak right now. On top of my brains being fried from losing today, I also cannot speak. So which damage increased by 17%. So um, I think that after the update, more people are going back to the witch because the damage right now is very, very powerful. The combo of a witch behind the giant used to be one of my favorite combos. And I definitely can see how it could make a comeback into my deck. So here we go, one minute and 50 some seconds left and I am starting to panic here a little bit because the witch is making her way onto my base and I'm being dominated by barbarians and barbarians can cause some serious damage. And actually, uh, let's see, barbarians I don't believe were affected by the most recent upgrade uh, update. So. Uh, yeah, nothing has changed. And uh, this is also, I think, a one crowner. And let me tell you, when you're having a terrible Clash Royale day and you win with one crown, you're like, yeah, man, and nothing can stop you. You feel like you're on top of the world. <laughs> um, uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, putting the Goblin Hut on the right and continue with the same spamming strategy on the right. Look at that. Both of my arena towers are absolutely untouched and that's because the spawners just keep getting caught up, you know, and keep uh, keep stopping the troops of my opponent before they get a chance to cross the bridge. I do believe my opponent actually gets to cross the bridge with his knight and a musketeer combo, but almost, you know, 30 seconds into the game he caused 
and nothing, 30 seconds left of the game and he caused absolutely zero damage to my base, which is really, really impressive. What a great way to hold down your fort. So here we are, 35 seconds left, and like I said, still no damage to my base whatsoever. 30 seconds left, I am still standing completely untouched. And if I had to trade off and be like, mm, he can knock down, you know, like half of the uh, HP on my tower as long as I win a couple more games, I would have done that. But I didn't get to do that because uh, instead, I basically finished the entire game with him getting a little bit of my HP off the right tower by using the zap spell. He wasn't even able to get his troops down to my... Um, down to my fort, down to my arena. So that was really, really awesome, guys. Um, I'm going to just cut off right here. Those were the best games of today. Unfortunately, there weren't so many. So I hope you enjoyed them and I hope you will check in next time when once again, I'm hoping to have a much better Clash Royale day. Until then, DT is out.